if you can't have this paper in front of you right now, if you don't have this paper printed off, you can just do the first part of this exercise on a piece of paper and then use your data. You can use your notes, yes. All right, everybody's getting ready. We have some data that we need to take down first. This part of the test we're going to do together first, and then you're going to be on your own for the rest of it. We're collecting data right now. And you're going you're gonna to flip your test over and go to this page that you see up here. And again, Abram, you can just write down, if you have lined paper, you can write your data on a piece of lined paper to have that data. This is for the linear regression. Data. We need data, and it has to be very accurate. When I tell you to, we're going to do this five times, and it's going to be different times that we're doing it. When I say start, you begin. When I say stop, you stop. Okay, there's no right or wrong answer. We want data. You're going to write the letters O and K in those boxes as many times as you can when I say start. And you're going to stop when I say stop. You're going to write the letter. See the boxes? Across the top. That's test one, test two, test three, test four, and test five. There's five tests. O, K. O, K. Yes, they're in separate boxes. <laughs> so you're writing it. No, don't stop. You're writing the letters in separate boxes. O goes in one box, K goes in the other box. When I say the first one is five seconds, on your mark, get set, begin. Stop. All right, here we go. The next one, the next line down. Now you're going to the next line down. First one, the first one is on the top line. That right here. This is this is the first line. You were just on the first line. Eyes up here. You're first. Now you're going down to the second line. Going across. Okay. All right. Let me get my stopwatch out. All right. On your mark, get set, begin. Stop. That's it. Okay. That's test two. Here we go with test three. I told you there'd be differing times. Here we go with test three. On your mark, get set, begin. Stop. Okay, here we go. Two more tests. Ready? Here we go with the next test. On your mark, Get set, begin, stop. One more test. One more test. On your mark, get set, begin. Stop. Okay, so there's a black line there for a reason. Anybody care to take a guess why the black line is there? Yes. Any idea how the next set is going to be done? Okay. A little bit different, though. Your left hand, please. Or the opposite hand that you just used. Okay. Get used to the pencil in your hand. Here we go. Here we go for test one of the opposite hand. <laughs> Ready? On your mark. Get set. Begin. Second grade writing. Let's go. Stop. Let's go. I think I learned how to Okay, here we go. We still have an in class test part. Here we go for the second trial. On your mark, get set, begin. Stop. As long as you can see an O and a K, you're good. As long as you can count them, you're fine. Okay, here we go with the next test. <laughs> here we go with the next test. On your mark, get set, begin. Stop. 
Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go again. Trial four. On your mark, get set, begin. Stop. Okay, one more trial. One more trial. Here we go. On your mark, get set, begin. Stop. Okay. You have your data. You have your data. Okay. There's the table right here below. So I want, don't say anything out loud. When you, so this says the time. That's the time I was using. And this was your dominant hand the first time you did it. How, the number of letters. So I want you to fill it in. Don't say anything out loud. At zero time, how many letters did you have? So fill it in. At zero time, how many letters did you have? Letters. At zero time, how many letters did you have? At time five, which was the first test that we did, how many letters did you have? Keep going. On test two, how many letters? Fill that chart in. And then you want to go to your non-dominant hand and fill in those numbers here as well. I would say complete letters. I would say they have to be complete letters to count them. Okay, who has a highlighter? Who has highlighters in here? You're going to need a pencil and a highlighter. All right, this is what needs to be done when you're graphing your points. Obviously, you got to make sure you label your x-axis and your y-axis. When you put your points on here, your dominant hand gets the highlighter and the pencil gets the non-dominant. When you graph your points, maybe you want to highlight dominant so that you know that when you're graphing them, you got to use the highlighter for dominant. And when you do a pencil and you're feeling in a pencil or a pen, whatever you have, don't just go like this. I need to be able to see it really good because I'm going to be taking pictures of all your graphs. We're going to do another activity after that. 